morning everybody and welcome back to my channel i literally just woke up and i'm starting this vlog for today's video i'm gonna walk you guys through 10 healthy habits that are simple and easy that you can just incorporate into your routines into your day find just incorporating them into your routines in your life really helps you live a more productive healthy lifestyle and they're really simple and easy nothing complicated nothing difficult. I did sleep in a bit today because it's Saturday, so it's like 9.30 right now, and I'm about to get up and start my day going. So let's get into this vlog. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So without further ado, let us get up. <laughs> Healthy habit number one is to make your bed every morning. It just starts your day on a productive note. It keeps your room clean and a clean space is a clean mind. So this is such an easy thing to just do every day in the morning. It gets you feeling productive and it just keeps your room looking spick and spam, which you can't complain about when you go back and do it. Healthy habit number two, and probably the most cliche one that there is, is to drink water. It kind of irks me when people do this habit. I don't know why. I think maybe it's because it's like common knowledge or something. But coming from someone who used to not drink any water at all, then I went on Accutane where I literally had to drink water or else I would have like shriveled up into a little prune. Drinking water is really important. So I always carry around one of these water bottles with me. And one of the main things I was gonna tell you guys is before you have your coffee, or your breakfast or whatever it is, try and drink a glass of water, a bottle of water, whatever it is that you drink water out of, try and drink one so that you get some water into you, you're hydrated before you start with your day. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink all of this. Healthy habit number three, we're just burning through them right here. I'm gonna do some planning in my planner. This is a healthy habit that I've been doing for quite a while now, but I find it so helpful, especially if you have a really busy life. Planning it out and what you need to do is super, super helpful. I'm obsessed with this planner. This is the happiness planner. It's not sponsored, I bought this myself. And I know so many of you guys ask me because you love the format of it. So it gives you a quote at the top, then you can write in what you're excited about, your exercises, how many hours of sleep you got, your main focus for the day, meals, then you have your to-do list, your schedule, and then at the end of the day, you can come back and write in some more like self-help kind of stuff where you can be like, what were today's highs? What were today's lows? What am I grateful for? What do I hope for? And then you can rate yourself with your happiness, your health, your energy, and your stress, and your productivity for that day. And honestly, just feeling like I have my life together makes me feel better. Even if I don't 100% have it together, just feeling like I do does a lot. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many For healthy habit number four, we have eat breakfast every day. This one is really important to me because I feel like it's trendy, especially with young girls to be like, I didn't eat breakfast this morning. All I had was an iced coffee. And I just don't think that it's a healthy habit to form. Breakfast is so important. It's your first meal of the day. You've just been fasting overnight and it really just fuels your body and starts off your metabolism. And I just think breakfast is such an important meal. For my breakfast this morning, I just made chocolate chip banana oat pancakes and then I had my latte with honey and it was delicious. All right guys, so I'm just going to enjoy my little latte that I made myself now and I'm gonna watch an episode of Vampire Diaries because it's Saturday and you know what? <laughs> Treat yourself. That breakfast was really good though. It was like chocolate chip oatmeal banana pancakes and I was like chef's kiss, like so freaking good. And I have my coffee here, which is also delicious. And yeah, we're gonna watch an episode of this and then after we're gonna go work out. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go work out. And that is my next healthy habit that you can add to your routine is to try and work out. If you can't do it every day, I would definitely recommend trying to get some form of exercise in every other day. And you don't have to do it for a long time. As long as you put in at least 30 minutes 
of your day, do some sort of exercise, whether that is walking, whether that is running, whether that is lifting weights, whether that's doing yoga, whatever tickles your fancy. I just think you're doing a little bit of exercise every other day or every day just really helps keep your health up. It's good for your mental health because you're able to just relax and unwind and really just spend 30 minutes focusing on yourself. And I just think it's an amazing habit to add into your life. I started working out in 2016 and I'm so happy that I did because it literally changed my life. It changed my body. It changed everything. And it was one of the best decisions and habits that I formed. In the beginning, it is definitely not enjoyable, okay? That's for everybody. You have to form the habit. In order to do that, you have to almost force yourself to do it, even though you don't want to, until it becomes a habit. And then once it's a habit, you're gonna wanna do it. I wake up and I'm like, workout time. And if I don't work out, I'm like, ugh, I wish I did. You gotta form the habit. I'm gonna go downstairs now and do a little bit of a booty workout. We're gonna do some band stuff and we're gonna do some weights. showered and freshened up but tip number five for healthy habits to just start doing is to wear sunscreen especially on your face which i know this is another one that i feel like everyone says and you're like all right sure i'll wear sunscreen but i never worn sunscreen on my face until again i went on accutane and they were like you have to and uh, literally i had to or else my face would burn just from sitting on the sun for like five minutes but since then, I have incorporated wearing sunscreen on my face every single day, even if I don't go outside. The number one reason why it's so amazing is it's anti-aging. It also prevents dark spots from forming on your face, like sunspots and stuff like that, which we all wanna be the eternal fountain of youth and look young forever. And sunscreen is the freaking key. This is my favorite one, the SkinCeuticals Physical Fusion UV Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I apply this on my face every single day. I wear it under makeup. Like literally no matter what, I just always apply this. It is like slightly tinted. It doesn't cover anything, but it kind of just evens out your skin tone a little bit. But yeah, this is like game changer. If you guys aren't wearing sunscreen, start. And the younger you start, the better. Like if I could go back and tell my 16 year old self to stop burning my face in the sun and wear sunscreen, I would. But you know, lessons had to be learned. My nose had to be burnt to a crisp multiple times before I realized that sunscreen is probably a good idea. Habit number six is to 
make sure you get your protein in, especially if you're starting a new healthy lifestyle and you're gonna start working out. Post-workout, you wanna get protein in within 30 minutes after you work out. So that's like the prime time to help with rebuilding your muscles and just feeling your body. And protein is just really important, especially if you're like vegan or vegetarian, you really wanna make sure that you're getting your protein in in some way. It's super important to just helping your body function normally. So I love protein shakes, I like protein bars. These are my favorite protein bars. I'll have a link for them down below. They're just a built bar but make sure you get your protein in. It is an important habit to start, especially if you're gonna start working out, you wanna get your protein in after your workout. My next healthy habit to incorporate into your lifestyle is to have some greens every single day. And my little tip, if you're not a big vegetable person, you don't really like salad, because I know a lot of people don't really like vegetables, is to put them in a smoothie and do like a tropical smoothie. It really overrides the taste of greens. This will also help you get your fruits in for the day, which is amazing. I love spinach and smoothies, so I'll just use some baby spinach, and then I'll always mix it with like a tropical fruit brand. So this one is pineapple, mango, and passion fruit. For the liquid base, I'll use orange juice. Again, this will help to get rid of the vegetable taste. And then I also love this. This is the Superfoods Greens plus vitamin D from Tropica. So this has a bunch of healthy things in it, such as alfalfa grass, wheat grass, barley grass. It's got lemon juice powder. It's got chlorella, kale, spirulina. It's rich in chlorophyll for cleansing. It's just really amazing. So I just combine all this and have it as a smoothie. It's a really good snack. It's a good breakfast idea. It's just a really good way to get in your fruits and vegetables. So highly recommend. back from a walk it was so cold out it's like negative five here today so freezing my healthy habit that you incorporate into your life is to actually limit caffeine after a certain time for me i stop having caffeine at like 2 3 p.m the main reason that i do this is because it helps with my sleep i find if i have caffeine too late at night or even at like four or five, I cannot sleep. Like, I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. It's caffeine. So if you find that you're having problems sleeping at night, or if you just feel like you're really like anxious and restless, I would definitely try and limit your caffeine intake, even though caffeine is amazing. Trust me, I am a big coffee gal. I love coffee, I love lattes, I love matcha, I love tea, I love all of it. On the day-to-day, -day, I tend to just have my latte or coffee in the morning, and then I'll just have decaffeinated tea throughout the rest of the day whenever I want to like cozy up and have something that makes me feel more warm and fuzzy inside, which is what tea does for me. But I also understand if you don't want to give up your caffeine, because I love caffeine too, okay? I get it, I get it. I have one more healthy habit that I wanna share with you all. And this one is very near and dear to my heart. If y'all watch me, you know my love for reading. And I get asked a lot, like, how do you read so quickly? When do you find the time to read? And my healthy habit and tip is to read before bed. One, it gets you off your phone. Because I find when I'm laying in bed, I don't just immediately turn off the light and go to sleep. I like to get in bed and I like to unwind, okay? And before I used to scroll on my phone and it, one, made me not tired, 
and two, it was just boring. I would just look at dumb stuff. I started reading again before bed and it is the biggest game changer. I just finished this book last night. It is A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm waiting for the next ones to come in the mail so I can continue on with the series. Right now, I'm gonna start Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, another amazing author. Reading is just an amazing thing to start doing before bed because it gets you off your phone. I find it makes me relax, it makes me unwind, and it just helps me sleep at night. So I love reading before bed and I highly recommend it to everybody to try it out. And yeah, those are my 10 healthy habits to incorporate into your life for 2021. I literally stand by all of them. I feel like they're my favorite things that I do in my day-to-day -day life, my favorite habits that I formed, and I just love them. I feel like they make me really happy, they make me feel good, and they're just so easy to start. These habits are just totally simple little things that you can add into your day-to-day -to, -day to help you live a more healthy and productive lifestyle and they're just amazing. Especially the reading one, that one's my favorite. Near and dear to my heart. I love people that message me being like, you got me to start reading again. It literally makes me so happy because I just love reading and I love sharing reading with people and getting them to be inspired to read again and to pick up a book instead of their phone. I just think that it's amazing and it makes me so happy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.